Welcome to my design studio. This is one of my favorite parts of the show where I take photographs that you send in of your property and we talk about some possibilities that might improve the landscape. Now today we're in New York talking to Renee. Renee has a house that looks like it was built at the end of the 19th century. I really like the color of it a lot. Uh, the dark blue shutters are nice and Renee is struggling with the fact that these rhododendron aren't doing well and she seems to um, be a, a little uh, crestfallen about the fact that this beautiful red twig maple, Japanese maple, is not growing so fast. But Renee, really, this if this is Sangu Kaku, uh, the coral bark maple, they don't grow terribly fast anyway. But what I would say, if it stays here, that maybe what you should do is limit up so it begins to create this sort of canopy here, which will also provide some privacy on that lovely, very generous front porch. Now, let's just talk about this because I think that um, you can do something really simple here. Um, I think that the rhododendron are covering up the, the, the English basement windows that you have here. So what if um, we looked at this planting along here, and I can't tell exactly where your bed lines are because of the snow, but what if you did some sort of a lilac here, which would be beautiful in flower in the spring, multi-trunk lilac, and then came in with some laurels just on the corner. And I don't know how much light you want in these windows, and maybe another laurel here and another laurel here. I think they'll be easier to grow than the rhododendron. And then if you came in and just did a basic fern, just a simple, um, wood fern, a hay scented fern, cinnamon fern, any kind of native fern along there. It would be a very simple landscape and I really like fern at the foundation of houses of this period. You'd want to repeat some of those same things over here. You could probably put one of the laurels, another laurel here and maybe even here. I can't tell quite how much room you have there, Renee. And then think about this. You've got plenty of space here, and I'm not really sure exactly if this face is north or south, um, or east or west for that matter, but if you get some shade here, and I think you may very well, um, you could add a big bank of hosta here, which would be really beautiful, big bold leaves, and the same thing over here on this side. And the other thing that I would want you to add here for some summer color would be some roses. And perhaps we use some of the knockouts because they're, they're just so easy. And you may want to put those on the other side of the house over here. Now, if it faces the north, you could switch out these laurels if you didn't want the evergreen, although I think you need some evergreen, Renee, and do some hydrangeas, which would be fantastic. But I think you've got a beautiful property. I like this picket fence over here a lot. Not knowing how much space you have out here, you could bring that picket fence all the way around the front and create a gate that allows you to come up to the steps, which would be really quite beautiful. Now you mentioned the spruce. I can see that some of the limbs, the lower limbs, aren't looking so, so good. I would come in and prune all the limbs off of it so that it goes on up like this, but you take all of this, um, these small, scrappy sort of limbs away, and that may give your maple time to grow. Renee, I hope this helps. Good luck with your project. Thank you.